Yo, let's synthesize squad. This is Dan Larson again, and he, we are here in Ableton Live 10 beta. And this is a real life, a real word test because I just want to show you a song I made, and it came out last Monday. And its name is uh, Move Your Feet or Movie Body, I don't really remember, but the artist's name is Vuxum because probably you know that my artist's name is Vuxum. But anyway, here is the song. Please have a listen to it, and we will talk about it a little later. And during that, you can have a look on Ableton Live 10 beta. Okay, so this was a song I hope you enjoyed it. And what I wanted to talk about is the intro because uh, one of my friend asked me how I made this full intro because he was really interested in the, that uh, guitar-y kind of sound. So I made it an operator and basically the full intro is made out of operator and this is what I want to talk about because let's check the first synth which is a very atmospheric, uh, effected, filtered kind of stuff also again from operator, this is how it sounds
it's a very nice little sound and as you can see I made out of it from a noise loop only with some filtering um, other filtering, EQing, compression, distortion and some huge reverb and delay basically. This is the whole magic behind it. It sounds pretty cool, um, like it is faded in the background but it's, it feels it so well. I pretty love it. Okay, the second stuff he was interested in, well, it was the first stuff he was interested in, this uh, Rezo bass, something this, how I call it. It's a two-layer sound. There is another bass in the background. And I applied some flangering, phaser, there is a multiband frequency split stuff where I applied some um, simple delay and uh, frequency shifter, some other stuff only on the mid band. This is the only trick behind it, you know, to have some movements, some edit side some voices only to the mid channel basically and on the low one I want to keep it and the low band I want to keep it mono like no stereo information on the lows so this is the only trick behind it to split the channel into three bands and apply some stuff like a simple delay with very short time delays you know um, and like from fr some frequency shifting and uh, other interesting stuff only on the mid band <coughs> Okay, so this is the main sound, the main guitar-y kind of sound. And I also applied a progressive, housey kind of, very simple, soy, filtered, plucky kind of sound to it, you know, to make it open on to, to the end of the sequence. A very simple sound. This is only, I use it only to make some uh, transition to the next section of the song. Now there's an interesting sound again, which is a vocally kind of sound, comes again from operator like always. <laughs> so I think this is a pretty nice sound again. You know, I use uh, some uh, low pace filtering, very, very easy and very slight FMing here. And again, I use a three band split rack here and added some distortion and chorus, chorus on the highs and the distortion on the mids, I turned the low band to mono. And uh, without that... It doesn't make too much change it, but with the chorus it sounds pretty nice and vocally So, it's a very simple sound again, with some effects, but the whole tone, the main tone, comes from operator. With the effects, it's just make it fuller. So as you can see, these sounds are very Congo kind of sound. This is why I call it Congo, because I want to make it a percussion kind of sound. So the pure sound, and let me group the effects so it will be easier to mute them all. And with the effects, I applied a corpus 
with some membrane stuff here. I don't remember if it was a preset or just I tweaked the settings to make it a little, to make the sound a little more percussion-y. Okay, some EQing to cut out the lows, boost up the highs again, a three band split to add some chorus distortion on the highs and again a chorus on the mids and make the lows mono. This is all again another frequency split, so um, just some erosion on the tops, you know, to separate the tops channel. And the purpose of this rack is to add some noise to the top channel to make the sound a little more organic. Some EQing, very slight EQing, compression, hey come on, collapse, saturator, and a delay. And what I really love here is the convolution reverb in Max. And the coolest thing is now it is built in Ableton Live 10. So you don't need to install the Max for Live stuff. It is, you know, built entirely into the to the main program so it's very cool it doesn't load up max for life it's just in there and it's pretty awesome this the the quality of this reverb is just you know i, I can't find anywhere for it is awesome really so very nice and i also made a bass pad to make a transition from sections to sections basically And you may think that this sound is distorted, but it's really not. It's just based on some frequency modulation, because you know the first sound, the first waveform is a saw, which is modulated by another saw, another saw, and some weird waveform kind of stuff on the end of the chain, and some low pace filtering. This is all here. I added only a reverb and some EQ to make the sound more in the mix. Which is what is more interesting is I made several effect sound, but first let's go to the pads. So this is a very very simple pad, like with two layers. This is all here basically. Saw, 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 saw. This is the main pad okay this was the base pad basically and this is the main pad here It is very similar to Dead Mouse Ghost and stuff, I believe, because you know I only use saw waves and just detune them slightly. As you can see here, I detuned the rest of the sounds and I used only one oscillator, oscillator D, to modulate the rest of the oscillators. So these are the only modulation I used here basically, and some phase shifting here and there to make the sound a little more interesting and not very robotic. Anyway, uh, I added a chorus, an EQ, and a serum FX, which is, I believe, not too much. A hyper, another chorus, and a comb filter, which is, I don't know if it's necessary. Let's check it. Yeah, it has just a very slight difference to the sound. So this was the sub pad, basically the main pad and some um, well bass pad without the sub no sorry this is the sub this is the bass pad and this is the main pad okay so So this is a very commonly used bass pad or sub pad here because what I did here is I used the saw and I added some noise to it and crunched them together to make this very 
um, electroish kind of sound. I use a saturated and broken tube. This is, um, it is a very underrated plugin in Ableton, but it makes some very, very nice sound if you want to crunch your sound, you crunch your basses. It is very cool because without this, the full sound turns into a well, very boring sound, very unprocessed basically. So it's very cool. I really like this plugin. So this is the pad and let's go to the effects because I had some pretty nice time designing these effects. First of all, there is a very boomy kind of fry sound here. At least, at least this is how I call it. And also got it with a noise. Okay, I messed up the pad here. Let me go back and activate the filter. So anyway, the boomy pad is a very interesting sound again because, oh, I had to um, freeze it, so unfreeze the track. So what I did here is I applied some very crazy FMing onto, no, it doesn't contain any FM. Okay, I was wrong. So anyway, I added a, a sign, a, a triangle and a square all together detune them heavily to make some very big chaos frequency wise and I filter them out as you can see I boosted up the very lows and crunched them so basically what you can hear is a very boomy a very hard bass sound which is crunched together with the tops I added a chorus well actually two choruses another overdrive I cut out the, the very very lows because we don't want the very sub we wanted to have some middle well middle sub or middle bass Another saturation and some filtering movement, filter movement to have some well movement to the sound. Okay, this is a very interesting sound all together with the sweep. So as you can see, it is very interestingly processed basically because uh, you know what I did here is I made a very chaotic kind of sound and crunch it very heavily um, okay boom rise uh, this is what we just checked we have some reverb effects um, which was a clap sound I believe what I made for a company so let me unfreeze it and let's check what we have um, show in browser yeah, this was a snare what I made a company. I designed this snare, so this is mine. Don't forget that I don't like to use uh, outer effects or outer, well, samples what I didn't make myself. So what I did here is added some reverb and other stuff and had this. And use it up like this. Okay, so this is very interesting sound coming from a snare I designed myself. Um, so this is the main intro here in this song, which is, I think, very interesting, especially if you know that it is you who made everything here, like you designed all the stuff and especially the drum sounds and everything, except the vocal here. So this is the original sound, I mean, this is how it sounds without the added effects.
because what I did here is I took a sample, took a vocal sample from a pack, and uh, I used two instances of that, like pushing back the semitones one, well, no, uh, seven semitones lower and one five semitones higher. So this way I get some very interesting tone from the original sound, from the original um, vocal sample where you show the sound, show in browser. Okay, so this is how it sounds originally. Move your feet, step up to the beat, got the urge to move your body. So I came up with the idea what I learned from from the band Core no Discord. Okay, that's it. The guys Discord made a, a similar sound in one of his songs. So I tried why not to do that here in two? Uh, because I love working with vocals. So and applies several effects. For example, oh, for example, the first one is a self-made dimension expander plugin, what I covered in one of my previous tutorial. So if you skip that one, just have a look on the descriptions in the video. The second one is an OTT. and some crazy compression to the end of the chain. Right now it's a little distorted, but in the mix it fits pretty well. Okay, there should be a lot of things to talk about, but my my neighbors are going crazy. Listen what they are doing. They are drilling or I don't know what they are doing, but this is crazy. So anyway, I need to stop now and let's uh, finish this whole stuff or let's talk about different things later or next week or sometimes. Okay, so bye bye guys. I was Larson.